Before using the Layers palette in Photoshop, you must first understand where it's located at. Looking to the right of your screen, you will notice the cluster bar. The Layers palette is located within the cluster bar. Your Layers palette is used to organize all types of images within your document. You will notice here that I have three images. First, the Photoshop image is a text warp image. The other two beneath that, Layer 2 and Layer 1, the first one is a graphic image and the second one is an actual photo. It's hard to tell what type of layer each is if you don't name them. Layer 2 and Layer 1 should be renamed. There are a few things that I would like you to be aware of before moving too far into the Layers palette. First, the New Layer button, which is outlined in a red box in this image. Simply clicking this creates a new layer in your Layers palette. Another icon I would like to make you aware of is the Trash Can icon or the Delete icon in the Layers palette. Located at the bottom in this image, you will see it in a red box. Simply highlighting or clicking on a layer and then pressing this button will delete a layer from the Layers palette. For the purpose of this tutorial, you can already see that I've opened a document that has many layers. We've got text layers, lots of text, we've got shapes, we've got different elements, we've got background. So let's go ahead and move over to our Layers palette. You can see that I've already opened that up. Don't be overwhelmed by the amount of layers here. I'm going to go ahead and select a layer. When it's grayed out, it means it's selected. I'm first going to look at these eyeballs we've got on the left side. This is your visibility. Hovering over it, you will see that it gives you the explanation that it indicates layer visibility. Turning this off, you will see what the layer is. You can see that it's the background on this far right panel. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. It's not deleted, it's just not visible. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on to name the layer. Once you start Obviously, getting a lot of layers, it's hard to distinguish which is which if you don't name it. You can see that I've named these up here. These also show that there are folders. I've created folders. Create a new group. When you select that, it creates a new folder. I obviously just renamed it by double-clicking it. You can name it. I'm going to name this layer Background. I'm just going to click off of it and you can see that the layer has been renamed. That's what I did for these three up here. As I said, I created folders for these. When I click this arrow, it shows me all the layers within the folder. This just helps me keep everything organized. You don't have to do this, but once you start working with multiple layers, it makes it a lot easier. I'm going to scroll down a bit. You can see that a lot of my layers have these FX options. It's also visible down here. These are your layer styles. For this background, you can see that I've applied different effects, which is your layer styles. I've added gradient overlay as well as, well as a pattern overlay. I'm going to show you what these effects have done by just clicking on and off the visibility of the different effects within the layer. If you want to see a little more, we can double click on the effects or we can go down to the FX and select that. Again, here you can see that I've applied a gradient overlay and pattern overlay. If I wanted to delete a layer, I would simply select it. Here you've got your delete option. If I wanted to create a new layer, this is where I would do that. You can see there's a blank new layer turning on and off the visibility. There's nothing there because I've added nothing to the layer yet. But that is how you create a new layer. If I wanted to create a new folder or a new group, I down and click this folder button like I've shown you up here that I've already done. And I want to put, say, these three layers within that folder group. I'm going to click, shift, down to select those three, click and drag it into the group. I'm going to turn it, turn the arrow, and then toggle that on and off to show what's in the group. Adjustment layers which is right here, and layer masks will be covered in a future tutorial. They're a little more advanced and we can go through those in a tutorial on their own. However, I would like to mention the lock option on your layers palette is the last thing I'd like to go over. You will see that there is a lock, therefore it cannot be deleted. You see how this option is grayed out as well as some of these other options. You can do this if you are working with multiple layers and you don't want something to move and you don't want anything to get um, messed with on it. 
That was the Layers Palette in 5 minutes. Check back for more tutorials. Thanks!